Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week number seven. I want to congratulate you on making it this far in the course. Um, I appreciate the effort that everybody is putting in. Sometimes this, this course is not the easiest one, and there's a lot of materials that are um, on the table on a weekly basis. And I just really do appreciate uh, what's going on in this class, the active participation with the discussion posts, and everything else that is going on. And, you know, I realize that everybody's dealing with their own stuff, dealing with COVID and dealing with all kinds of other issues. It could be being in other classes, taking two, three classes this semester, and or dealing with what's going on with your school or your personal life. So hang in there. You're really doing well. So this week, we are basically in the starting the second half of the class, or actually this is the last week of the first half of the class. So I, I tried to modify some of the materials this week. We have a national holiday tomorrow, and so right there, no work is expected this week, but I realize that everybody, we all are adult learners, you will do, if you need to work tomorrow on your school work, you will. So what I tried to do is modify some of the material so it wasn't overwhelming in a shortened week. So this week, these are the goals. These are the learning goals. We are continuing our exploration of quantitative research. I'd like you to read chapter 7 once again, specifically focusing in on pages 106 and 114 to 114. There's a whole bunch of videos that I posted uh, on reliability and validity. These are quite important to the understanding of how do you, how do you analyze and make sense of quantitative research. And then I, I put this one, mode, mean, median, range, standard deviation. That's a seven-minute video. The normal distribution. This is really important to understand the bell curve, no, normal curve. What is a p-value? Okay, I'll be stressing this when we're discussing analyzing and making sense out of the research papers that you will be discussing as a group and also in your final critique in the class. You know, are the, what, what the research found, are the results significant, statistically significant or not? So this, this is a, one of the best videos I've, I've seen on p-values. So I hope you enjoy it. And, and if any, if any questions come up on any one of these videos, Please shoot me an email, contact me in any, in any way you'd like. So I'd like you to, to participate. Now I'll go down here. Being the week is shortened, participate in the discussion only requires your own response. So really, you don't have to. You just do a brief initial response to the discussion forum. You do not need to, to uh, comment on additional students in the class. Once again, I really would like you to focus in on the content material this week, not so much on the participation and spending a lot of time with the discussion posts. So that is that is it. So down here we have the discussion. You know, once again, being a shortened week, participation. You just do your initial post, and we'll, we will call it good. So if you have any questions on this week, let me know. I'm here to help in any way. If you want to talk to me on the phone, set up a Zoom meeting, um, text, or whatever means works best for you, I am available and I'm more than willing to help. So once again, congratulations on getting this far with the course. Keep up the great work and contact me with any questions. Thank you, everybody.